Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today I'm QRP portable with a new magnetic loop antenna. It's called the P-Loop from Chameleon Antennas. We're going to be testing it out here with uh, PSK31 and 63. Whisper, just checking it out and uh, seeing what kind of performance we can get out of it. So stick with me and let's get you started. listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. I've been testing the Chameleon P loop for a couple of weeks now, and I have to say, so far, so good. The Chameleon P loop is the rapidly deployable little brother of the Chameleon F loop. The P loop is designed to be more portable, more rugged, weatherproof, and easier to use when man portable than its older brother. So unfortunately for the F-Loop's little brother, we've been out in the field terrorizing it and seeing what it's all about. But alright, let's go. The P-Loop only has three components. The tuning unit with attached telescopic mast, the Faraday loop, and the flexible radiator loop. Having only three parts follows the keep it simple stupid methodology and I really like that because I don't have to worry about losing components that are critical to its deployment. Setup and deployment are incredibly simple. We start by attaching the Faraday loop to the telescopic mast. We then extend the two lower mast sections and lock them in place. We then unroll the flexible radiator and attach it to one side of the tuning box. We then secure the flexible radiator to the Faraday loop with one of the included Velcro straps. Now attach the second half of the flexible radiator to the tuning box. Then use the second Velcro strap to affix the flexible radiator to the Faraday loop. Finally, we'll make any small adjustments necessary to the Faraday loop and the flexible radiator before attaching the coax to the radio. The boys and I spent more than a few days out in the field working with the Chameleon P-Loop. We did whisper tests, CW beacon tests, and of course, uh, PSK tests with PSK Reporter. What you're looking at now was our first whisper test. We were QRP portable at the sea, 2.5 watts, and we made a 14 minute run on uh, 20, 30, and 40 meters. We had pretty standard coverage over Europe, something I would expect with one of my whip antennas, but we also made it into the Great Lakes and into Japan. Not bad. The next test we did was a CW beacon test and we used the reverse beacon network to see what type of coverage we had. Although the RBN thinks that I'm in Helsinki, which is incorrect, we did have good coverage throughout Scandinavia, Western Europe, and into Switzerland. PSK Reporter shows very good coverage throughout Europe and matches very well the Whisper and CW Beacon results. Using the P-Loop on digital modes is actually very pleasant. In the case of PSK31 or PSK63, the narrow bandwidth of the loop does an excellent job of blocking any out-of-band noise and making the waterfall much more pleasant and easy to read. During this test, I had QSOs with Norway, Poland, Italy, and Romania. SSB with the P-Loop is a lot like working SSB with the SSB filter in your radio. But you get even more rejection from those powerful stations you don't want to hear by simply changing the azimuth of the loop. So in many ways, it's a lot like working with a Yagi. This is especially useful for the low power operator who's trying to make that contact with a distant station. If you're used to working with the broadband antenna system, one of the first things you'll notice with the mag loop when working SSB is your need to retune the mag loop every time you change the frequency. 
At least for me, that's a small price to pay for out-of-band noise and strong signal rejection. And now we arrive at my final thoughts. This is a man-portable, rugged and weatherproof loop. Tuning is smooth and easy. I don't know what type of reduction gear it has inside, but it works well. It's not at all finicky like many of the other loops I've used. There are only three components to it and nothing to lose. This is just brilliant for man portable ops. The P loop has various mounting options. You can hold it in your hand, you can tripod mount it, you can mount it using the jaw mount, you can mount it using a 3 8 by 20 antenna mount. It's entirely up to you. Far too often people look at the price as the very first thing, a deciding factor in the gear that they buy. Well, I think this loop strikes the perfect balance between price and ruggedness. Part 2 of this video is going to be shot in Lapland next week. We're actually taking the P-Loop out on expedition. Watch my social media links for more details about that. Also, make sure to check out the video cards attached to this video for other videos, information, or perhaps special offers about the P-Loop. And that brings us to the end of the video. Remember guys, if you think we're doing a great job on the channel, please give me a thumbs up. And if you know someone who you think might enjoy this video, please share it with them. With that, I say rock and roll, and thanks for watching. Ciao.